Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool A&E number 21. This is John's Equipment from Michigan. And this is a pretty cool telephone because it was in the middle of a model that uh, basically had the transmitter coming out of the top of the telephone itself. And what they did was they installed a plate over it and then put your more of a G-style handset on this telephone. And so this telephone needs uh, to have some uh, repairs done to it. It has some issues. Number one, we want to go through the rotary. We want to clean, oil, and adjust the rotary. We also want to get a dial center card and ring on the rotary finger wheel. And it's going to be more to the period of the telephone. We also want to go through the handset. We want to go through the transmitter, the receiver. Now, we're going to have to upgrade them. I want to show you this... Uh, handset since this is the initial checkout and this is the old diaphragm style handset so we want to take this loose and I want to show you the diaphragm that's in it now we need to upgrade this receiver give you a look at everything here If you've never seen the inside of one of these handsets like this, and we'll be upgrading the uh, receiver there. Now the transmitter is a little more difficult to get off. I put a little oil on there that's helping it out before it wouldn't come off. And this is the granule carbon transmitter. So they were kind of in the middle on the handset, too, of how they were going to do things. They have a carbon granule transmitter and a diaphragm for the receiver. So what we want to do is upgrade the transmitter, too. We're going to go to a electronic amplified transmitter that I designed and built here at the shop. This is your... Uh, spit cup for the transmitter. The way this transmitter fit into the handset, you would have your transmitter cup there. It kind of laid in the handset like that. Well, the problem was it always gets caught up when you're taking off the transmitter cup or putting it on. So, you know, things try to start spinning around in here. Plus, we want to get rid of this carbon granule transmitter because they can become noisy. And they sound like there's a static sensation going on after they have some age on it. So, since that'll be an issue, we want to go ahead and just upgrade it while we're taking care of everything else. So now, I want to go ahead and give you a look at the telephone itself so we want to open up the unit now that we have the unit open you can see how they designed everything out we have our rotary a wiring block our hook switch our cradle our solenoids for the bells another wiring block and then a cap and we have a hardwired situation on this telephone we're going to be removing that. We're going to install a modular port adapter and that's so John can go ahead and mount this telephone on the wall, bring in any length, any color line cord and plug right into the modular port adapter. Makes for a simple, easy plug and play connection. Now we also want to go through all of our connections. We want to make sure everything's proper. We want to take a look at the hook switch, clean that, 
go through our rotary like we mentioned earlier and then we also want to make sure the bells are ringing and if there's any adjustment here at the bells we can repair that and get it adjusted we want to fix this wiring up a little bit we don't want that to touch our bell basically we want to go through the whole telephone and we're going to upgrade some things with a transmitter and the receiver and kind of go through a little bit of everything on the telephone. So we want to get a start on this unit and we're going to take a short break. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in this repair and conversion of this really cool automatic electric number 21. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this really cool automatic electric rotary wall telephone, and we're ready to start our final checks. I also want to go over some of the issues that we took care of. Now, we upgraded the transmitter. That's uh, an amplified electronic transmitter that's been installed. We also upgraded the receiver. The rotary has been gone through. It's been cleaned, oiled, and adjusted. We also installed a dial center card to the period and a dial ring. We adjusted the bells. That was an issue. We went through the wiring blocks. We made sure everything was proper there and everything was tight. We went through the wiring issue it had a, a small wiring issue, so we took care of that. We also installed a modular port so that John can simply walk up to this telephone and plug in any length, any color, line cord he chooses, and that makes for a simple, easy plug-and-play connection, and we'll do a still picture of that. Now, I also want to mention that everything was kind of loose in the telephone. Uh, the mounting screws for, uh, like, say, the bell and the coil and things like that, and at the uh, rotary dial. So we tightened all the brackets down and all the screw connections. Now what we want to do is mention our amplified pickup. For those who watch our videos, they know that our amplified pickup, we use that in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkout. And I have it taped to the handset because of the shape of the handset. It's just easier. Normally we set it down on the, you know, the handset down on the pickup. And since that's amplified and we have an electronic amplified transmitter in the transmit section, uh, you may get a little feedback. So if you hear a little feedback, that's just because everything's amplified. And we're ready to start our final checks. So we want to go ahead and ring this telephone with the analyzer, and we'll start the ring cycle. I'm going to let it go one more time, and we'll give you some dial tone. Turn on our amplifier. We're going to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you're going to watch the numbers roll by. It has a nice smooth return on it now. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. Now, the only thing that someone might notice since the receiver and transmitter has been upgraded is the way this spit cup is designed. Uh, you know, it might have a funnel effect to it. Uh, there's nothing you can do about that, but, you know, 
you just have to explain to them, I'm on an antique telephone. So that could be a possibility. I don't know that that'll happen all the time, but it, it may sound a little different than being on a normal type of handset that doesn't have that type of spit cup. Now that we know that the telephone is ringing in on a ring cycle, it's dialing out, it has transmit and receive, we can push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we can call a time and temp number. So we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone, and we'll call that number. We can give you some dial tone. We can call my number and it'll be busy. Turn the amplifier off, hang our unit up. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to John and he can enjoy this really cool automatic electric rotary wall telephone known as a 21. And I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's installed. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618 235 6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.